Hello everyone, Editing Sigma here. Why do Streamlabs hate me? I recorded this episode while I was house sitting for a friend, and for some reason, dismantling my setup to move it over to here really upset Streamlabs and it decided not to record the audio for this episode. So I'm afraid all you have for this is my not so lovely voice, which I apologise for prof- profusely. I've tweaked around with the settings and this time I've taken a picture of them for reference so I don't forget what the correct settings are again. Bane of my life, Streamlabs. I might just go back to the regular OBS if it didn't keep crashing all the time. But anyway, apologies again. Hopefully you'll enjoy the episode anyway. And all future episodes should, should be uh, be back to normal. Take care now. Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. I'm recording this from a new location. I'm house sitting for a friend but the internet here is really slow so I won't be uploading for a few days but it will give me plenty of time to record so I hope you can all bear with me just for this weekend Oh, Marvin, why? Oh, Marvin. Shit! Brad, behave yourself, boy. Carlos, Jesus, how am I missing this badly? Wow, that went horrible. I know it's been a while since I played this game, but no excuse for that, like at all. Yes, thank you. Anything else around here? No. Email outbox. Sender Lucy Yen. Disposal complete. September 26th. Department in chaos after spread after spread of infection. Multiple citizens taking refuge here are infected. All files related to you successfully disposed of. Awaiting further orders. Communications intercepted from S Hospital on Star's private communications line. Presumed to be evac request from B. Possible he will flee he will flee the hospital and come here. Request UBCS dispatch. I will evacuate with their assistance. Requested evac has not yet arrived. This position is becoming un- untenable. I remained here with the condition my safety would be guaranteed. If I am left to die here, I will distribute proof of coalition and corruption between you and RC civic leaders. You have one hour to d- deliver a response. Oh blimey. So within the ranks. Yeah, sorry, poster boy. Poor Brad.
Uh, we recognise that bit, don't we? Yeah. Well, you thought wrong, I'm afraid. Right. You there. You there. Ditch you for now. Right, you don't have anything I can take, really. <laughs> I love Carlos's, uh, Carlos's lines in this. It does, but I still want to check. Yes, there's stuff around here somewhere. Oh, it must be on the other side. I do love we get to come back to the RPD. I just wish we, we got to come here as Jill. Right, what have you got up here for me? Some bullets somewhere, I imagine? Yes. Alright, all clear. Damn, I don't like being restricted to where we can and can't go, though. <laughs> ID card security protocols. September 16th. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. RPD, Facility Maintenance Department. All right. Thank you. I love the fact we got to see this moment as well. All right, definitely not a zombie. So none of them weird fucking doors. You down? You are now. Got 
Gotta love, ain't ya? Alright, no bullets. Something over there, though. Yes. Not broken yet. Yep, okay, this place is done. So obviously this door gets relocked at some point. Okay. Yes. Give that to me, please. You should be the same. Nine, fifteen, seven. Yes. Give me all of the space, please. September 20th, arrest report. Rodney Gray, unemployed former electrician. Changes, charges. Unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Sus suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Brock Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspects' home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Sus suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up and you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming, soon, gotta hurry. Burn them, burn the corpses, burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking, a shrieking, shrieking fit. Jesus. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony cha changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of 
dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into the suspect's condition. The explosives collected from the suspect's person and residents appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from the from one destination device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. All right. Interrogation officer Wes Drucker. Thank you very much, Wes. A very concise report. Yeah, I did I did check that one. Okay, fair enough. Of course it is. I can imagine. I like how they've used the Resident Evil 2 save, thing, save theme room for this bit. Internal memo. September 22nd. Office supply internal re relocation notice. Heat resistant number... Th heat resistant 3 number combination save move from Stars office second floor to West office first floor. The combo is left 9, right 15, left 7. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Yep, we already knew that. <laughs> right, let's ditch this lot. I'm going to keep that with me just in case. There we go. Yeah, got a key. You should be the same as last time. DCM. No hole. Pity, because Jill being in here and the nemesis crashing through there would have been perfect. He's down for the count. If I remember rightly, there's a lick around here now. Shit. Right, can you fucking die, please? How did you get there?
Okay, and 104. Yes. Uh, not perfect, but at least I'm not likely to die now. Oh, what's this? Ah. Okay. Wondered what the hell that sat, that noise was for a moment there. Right, might keep the, all the all of the grenades for later. Depends. I'll keep them on me just in case, but ideally I want to save them for the hospital. I mean, it should be pretty obvious why, Carlos. Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get out, get to the other side. I realised the explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb... But we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need the ba that battery if we're going to knock down this wall. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the, spare, the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Uh, so that's what happened to Wes. Wes Drucker. Now we know you. Cap. Another flash grenade. All right, we're committed now. Yeah, didn't really want to use the grenade, but it was my best best chance of surviving that. I wouldn't know. I've, 
I've never been burdened with that curse. Will you just die? Well, so much for saving those grenades. Okay. What am I missing around here? Ah, there we go. Hmm, convenient. We'll save the first aid spray. Alright. Uh, we made it to the star's office. Yep. All right, you're now done. Ditch you. Grab another red herb. It is indeed. Super cop herself. Rejected. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On July 23rd, Stars Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in, the, in a secret lab, secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root of cause of all that occurred. However, all, ev all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. And that big rejected sticker just shows how far Irons was prepared to go to keep everything quiet. Right, let's drop that lot for now.
<laughs> Alright, we're done here. I love that Tyrell doesn't even try to stop cars. He goes, "Do it. You you do what you got to do. I'll deal with this." Several minutes earlier, subway tunnel. Got some strong ass plot armor, Jill. Well, you and uh, Nikolai. Imagine you are. New weaponry notice. Good news, Limp Dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella, Umbrella's military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter than the love you left back home. <laughs> they're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed... For standard issue grenade launchers, don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or on the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in the enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on these gi those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Nice. Right, I'm going to need my grenade launcher. Put you guys here, put you away. You there, where's my grenade launcher? There it is. Uh, yes, I'll take the other shotgun rounds. Definitely the extra explosive rounds. I'll be cocky and leave it at that. And I'll save just in case. Here we go. Go. I think you're just a dead body, yeah. Pretty sure this area is now empty, yes. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, didn't think you were all quite dead. Right, I'm going to go back and grab some more handgun bullets. Just in the off chance, that's what it comes down to. Make sure we're pre actually prepared. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Thank you. And he sounds angry. Ah, uh, the clock tower. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be em emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in... St. Mi yeah. St. Michael's Church erected this, ta this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century and the student body in St Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years pass, and this once beloved mon monument and public plaza on lockdown put in the 1990s. The Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells ca can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Shame that... Uh, going there was cut from the remake but I can let that slide it's, I've had I've had enough time to get over it cool let's go Well, that looks painful. <laughs> Bitch. I'm sorry, Carlos, I'm fighting a giant chicken thing. I do actually, I really love this second form of Nemesis in the remake. I just wish that we saw the original second form as an in-between. Pepper you with this bitch. Come on, bring it on. Oh, 
All right. Oh shit, I thought you climbed. All right. Yes, there we go. Whew. I was out of ammo for the grenade launcher. Apparently <coughs> so. Uh, do a sweep, make sure I have a 
Okay, I have collected all the things. Good. Let us move on. That was quiet. What an asshole. Damn you, Nikolai. Roughly half a day later. Come on, Supercop. Getting you to the hospital. Exactly. Anything else in here? No. Right, can't give her that yet. But I think now it's a good time to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been, I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.